everyone. So different background to the usual as you can see. If you're a bit confused about that, I have explained all of this in my previous video from last week. You can check out that video and that should explain everything for you. So this is going to be an art studio tour. I've been promising this video for quite a while now and I've actually moved house since then but I'm still posting it because it was my favourite art studio that I've ever had and I really want to remember it and share it with you guys so I hope that's cool with you. So on to the tour. So the first thing that you see before you come into my studio is just my door which has this little arrangement on it. I don't know what these are actually called but I made it in my art group that I did last year and then I just have a little pentagram bag that kind of just hangs out on the door as well. So here's a quick overview of the studio before I zoom in on everything and show you everything in more detail. The lighting isn't that great in here today so I apologize for that but I'm doing my best with artificial lighting so hopefully that helps a little bit. Yeah, so that's kind of the overview. I'm going to show you this wall first. So first of all, as you can see, I've got like a lot of decorations going on. So I have like some Halloween stuff up here that I got from a thrift store. My wolf clock self-portrait that I painted many years ago. Just a little trick-or-treat sign. I have these little star string lights, but they don't work anymore, but I keep them up anyway because I think they look cool. And then I have my calendar, which has a bit of paper over it because you guys do not need to see my schedule. And then down here I have a like cluster of things going on so I have a little mushroom picture down there I have some kind of mounted insects there and I have a bunch of like cameo frames and stuff like that for my art then on this chest of drawers I just have a couple of blank journals that I still need to illustrate in this ugly shoe box I just have a bunch of feathers and bones and stuff that I haven't used yet and I have a couple of these little coffins here which have some already finished art in them like I think that one has brooches and that one has like illustrated ribs and stuff so in the top drawer kind of scary lots and lots of paper I have a bunch of unfinished projects like some drawings and some paintings and underneath that I have some paintings that are actually finished but I will show you these in a later video I think. I also have this happy Halloween sign because I never know where to put it so it just ends up wherever it's the most convenient. <laughs> so this second drawer is pretty scary. It's really messy. I have some organza bags. I have some fake silver leaf. I've got the safety goggles when I'm using chemicals. I've got like bits of old jewellery that I like pull apart to make new jewellery. I've got some little lettering stamps, pencil sharpeners. There's just heaps of random crap in here that I don't know where else to put so it just goes in here. This drawer has more random crap. I've got my hot glue gun, some watercolour paper, blue tack, serviettes, tea bags for tea staining stuff, safety pins for DIY stuff. I've got my watercolours in here. I know it looks really disorganised but I know where everything is so that's kind of all that matters to me. In the last drawer, this is probably the most organised. I just have some paint palettes and then all of my acrylic and oil paints, mostly acrylic. I only really use acrylic on bone. I don't really do like acrylic paintings on paper or anything because it's just not my thing. I prefer watercolours for that. So yeah, that's the last drawer. And then down here I just have a little wooden crate of, again, little random knickknacks. So I've got a spell candle, a little tripod, just different things that I don't really know where to put so they just sit there. And then over here is like the side of my wardrobe because it's sort of a built-in wardrobe so I do have my clothes in this room. But then on the side I just have a bunch of little pictures that I either find or are given to me. Like some of these were sent to me by really awesome people. Yeah, so then over here I have my actual wardrobe not just the side of it so I've got some posters on there. I've got Stranger Things. I've got this like botanical poster of different trees and stuff. I have got some spore prints there. A little like postcard thing that was a freebie and this big botanical poster of like wild flowers. So there's a bunch of my clothes. Really messy down there but I have some of my synthetic dreads and stuff. And then in here I have more clothes and jewellery in that top drawer. And in here I have more clothes. So these are mostly jackets and coats and kind of fancy stuff or just really warm stuff. So then here I have a bunch of my shoes as well, not all of them but the ones that I don't wear as often kind of sit in here and the ones that I do wear often go in my bedroom. So then we have this wall 
wall. I guess it's more of windows than a wall, but have lots and lots of bats. I have like this garland of bats, then some hanging bats, bats on the windows, just lots and lots of bats. You can kind of see out there to my cat's enclosure because he's got this massive enclosure with like netting and everything so he's got a really big amount of space out there to run around but still be safe so I see him out there sometimes. Then we have my kind of messy art desk. So firstly over here I just have some of my jewellery making stuff and I won't go through all the drawers I'll just tell you kind of generally what's in them so this one has got like wire, charms, jump rings, chains, just like really basic jewellery stuff in there. So I've got some puffer fish bones and some candles and then I have these organiser divider boxes so I guess I'll show you what's in those. So the first box here just has a bunch of my old polymer clay stuff. A lot of it's really not very good because I made a bunch of it when I was still kind of starting out with polymer clay so I just kind of keep it all in there because I don't have the heart to throw it out and then in this box as you can see I guess I don't really need to open it but I just have lots and lots of beads and these are all like secondhand beads that have come from jewellery from like op shops and garage sales and stuff then moving over here I have a squirty bottle which is for my plant have some little polymer clay charms that are more recent that I kind of like. Other little bits and pieces like lots of bones. I have this paint palette which I really need to wash because it's got glitter all over it. Then over here I have a bunch of bone stuff that I'm working on kind of all at once. So I've just got a bird skeleton that I'm putting together. And then over here I have a rat that I'm putting together but his front half is missing so I need to improvise a bit with him. And yeah then just some stuff for bone jewellery here. So then over here I have my flamingo. I could not get it into the ground outside because it's like too hard so it ended up in my succulent plant. Then next to the flamingo over here I have some jars so that's got bones, that has like pencils, pens and pliers, just random stuff. That has pins. And over here I have some craft glue, a little box with other knickknacks in it, another little cup with lots of pens and textures. Then I have more of these <laughs> cups with again pencils and stuff in them. I've got so many of these. I have another of these little tackle toolbox things with more kind of jewellery stuff in it. It's kind of the same as what's in there. So I won't go through it with you again. Some fake blood, <laughs> some more glue. I've got this little tray with tweezers and stuff in it for bones. Another little cup with random stuff in it like business cards, pencil sharpener, glue stick. I do have some toilet paper here which is actually for my watercolours. This little box that I painted in art group last year. Then I just have some Harmer beads that I got from the thrift store the other day and I don't really know where to put them until I use them so they're just sitting there. Then I have my favourite watercolours that are really old. These came from my mum. They were hers when she was a kid. It is my most favourite watercolour set I've ever had and it's so old and beautiful and I love it. So it kind of just permanently sits here on my desk. Then up here I have more cups with I think sharpies, paintbrushes, scissors, pliers, pens, stuff like that in this one. Some wire there and then some more sharpie pens and stuff but these ones are mostly for fabric. And then I have this little castle that I got I think when I was like six or something and I still have it because I just love it so much. Of course another of these kind of tray organizer things with more jewelry stuff in it so glitter, buttons, crystals, fake eyes, beads, jump rings, eye pins, just all those little fiddly things. That is the art desk and then of course I have my chair. I think this is actually like a table cover but I've always put it on my chair for many years for some reason. Here I have one of my lights. It's like one of those ones that's a light and a magnifying glass but it kind of makes an odd smell when you turn it on so I don't really use it that often. And I also have my bowler here because I don't know where else to put it so it just kind of sits there. Underneath the desk is a really scary mess. I'm sorry you have to see this. So I guess first I just have a bunch of art books and colouring books here. Not very pretty I know. Even more not pretty. I have this box which I keep jars and fake flowers in. Then I have some of these bigger cameo frames that I don't really know where to put because they're so big. And there I keep sewing stuff and that has more threads. Back there is really scary, I'm not even going to try to explain that because it's going to be too much. <laughs> Over here is... well, <laughs> I have this like big 
bit of velvet over it because it's really hideous to look at but it's just a crate with a bunch of stuff in it that I kind of need to have access to but not that often but I don't want it in the shed so it kind of sits under here with fabric on top of it so yeah I'm not really going to go through that but I don't know it just has like polyfill and books and just random stuff that I need. Then down here I have another little organizer thing so I have my beautiful shit journal which is kind of like an art therapy journal I guess. And then I have like paint brushes and stickers and stuff in there and I just have some of my gloss spray that I use for bones and stuff and then more art books and portfolios. So then over here I have another little chest of drawers and this is mostly stuff for sewing and like DIY for clothing and stuff like that so again really disorganized but cotton and stuff here that has some books that like I make my patterns in I have some yarn this is mostly cotton and stuff like that in here for sewing and then down here also scary but I have some wire some fabric some feathers that I got ages ago the canvases and stuff again it's all just random but I know where everything is so it works for me this is probably the most organized drawer out of all of them and it just has a bunch of felt also some fake fur there that you can see and then down here got some pliers toothbrush for cleaning bones more wire and over here I just have one of my cat scratches I always have a scratcher in here because otherwise he doesn't really know where to sit and he gets himself into a bit of trouble sometimes so Having that there kind of helps him know where is a good spot to be. Then over on this wall I have one of my paintings that I did years ago and then I have some of my little mycology specimens so like dried mushrooms and stuff. I have one of my little scary Halloween <laughs> pictures that my sister gave me and then I have this cabinet here with all of my little mycology collection in there so again I have dried and preserved mushrooms and stuff that I've found and most of them are identified and labelled and everything. I know it's like really kind of hard to see over here because it's a bit dark and I'm sorry but hopefully some close-ups will help fix that. I have like some sheep bones and stuff there and more of that like gloss spray and a little jar of bones and then more art books. So then this wall has most of my oddities collection. I do have a separate video on my full collection like with all the close-ups and everything so I won't go very in depth with this at all. I already have another video on that which I can link at the end of this one but I guess in case you haven't been here before on my channel just so you know I just collect these because I love animals and I love nature and this is my way of like appreciating that I guess but I'll do a whole other video on why I collect oddities at some point. So over here I have one of my little polyfoam tombstones that I got around Halloween a few years ago. Some little goat horns that my sister gave me. My bat painting that I also did years ago and I have this police shirt and I have a big spore print there from a very large agaricus mushroom and then I have this cork board which has a bunch of like mushroom photos and spore prints and stuff some of them are my own findings others are from books and stuff that were photocopied most of these jars have a bunch of sea glass that my mum and I found on the beach um like all in one day we found a huge bunch of sea glass so they sit in these jars when we're not using them for craft and stuff then over here I have more oddities, so I have like a fox fur and dream catchers and bugs and stuff down there and tails and... So then on this wall I have more of my oddities and then also some of my bone art and stuff as well. So then I have another little canvas cork board thing of mushroom spore prints. I have some paintings there that I need to finish. And these are sitting on this big kind of bookcase that was used in the library. So it's one of those ones that has wheels that you can like wheel around the place, which is cool. So this has all like kind of reference books, like most of it is mushrooms and mycology. Then I have some on like plants and animals here and taxidermy, some on like true crime and serial killers. Then on the second shelf I have a couple more reference books for like skeletons and stuff, but then I have a bunch of kids books. Then in that box I have a bunch of old journals 
I have a replica human skull, I have a little like brain squishy thing, a dragon, some really old toys, I've got a raccoon and a chipmunk that looks like an old man, <laughs> and then like one of those vodka skull bottles. Down here is where I keep all of my tea sets because I don't know where else to put them but I like having it on display. Every single one of these is second hand so I can't tell you where I got them because uh, they're all thrifted. Then I have that little fairy stained glass window kind of thing. Jack-o-lantern and some antlers and then under there is really hideous but I have like a little tea set in a box there and then lots of jars for oddities and then a little mushroom canister with random stuff in it. I have a bunch of furs here, some antlers and then he's got a bunch of dream catchers hanging off him that I've made which again I will show you those in a separate video. Then in front of that I've got this kind of candelabra I think they're called so that has a bunch of stuff that I've made that kind of hangs on it because it's just easier to organize everything that way. Yeah I don't actually use it for its intended purpose really. A bunch of jewelry that I made that's on my Etsy. In case you're wondering pretty much all of the art in this room, almost all of it, is on my Etsy and if it isn't now then it probably will be later. If you want to see any of this like more in depth, be interested in purchasing anything, I always leave my Etsy in the description of every video so it's easy to find. Got like a flower wreath and stuff, got some bone signs that I'll probably show some more in another video. Then over here I have some things that I made like these little bone things here and then some furs and stuff. Then this is kind of like the background that you usually see in most of my videos. So I've got this board with little holes in it. I painted it and glazed it and everything so it's all black and shiny and pretty. But it's one of my old paintings on it, like a spider that I sewed years ago. Lots of bone art. My goat plush that I'm still in the process of finishing. He's taking ages I guess because he's so big and kind of awkward but Again, you will see him in a later video. Painted skulls and illustrations and stuff. More bones and plushies and stuff that I've made. This part has a dream catcher, if you can kind of see that, and then some of my art dolls. Only two of them are finished. None of the dolls are on my Etsy at the moment because I want to put them all up at the same time, so there's kind of more variety. And up here I have one of my painted skulls that still needs a tiny bit of finishing off. Then next to that wall I just have my door again so it's got another fur on there I still don't know what creature that's from but that's okay and my little mushroom bag yeah but that's really it that's that's everything that's in my studio yeah, so that was the art studio tour if you have any questions about anything in the room at all let me know in the comments and I'm sure I can help you out but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time